What's up, bitches? This is J Dub, and you want to know what really fucking pisses me off? What brought me out of the woodwork right now is Xbox One. What? But J Dub, why is Xbox One bringing you out when your counterpart JWU praised it? Yes, he did praise that game system. I did too. It was later on in the fucking afternoon when we found out what Microsoft was really fucking up to. Okay? Now let's get into number one. No used games. Hey, Microsoft, what the fuck are you thinking? Okay? So, uh, let's say you buy a motherfucking game. You install that motherfucker onto the hard drive. Okay? And since you don't need the disc, the disc anymore, you just take it to GameStop. Trade it in. Fine. The little machine they have at that fucking store will take the game off of your Xbox 360 so you'll no longer have the fucking game on your 360. Uh, newsflash, if you don't need the disc, why have the entire game? You could just trade the game in and then still be able to play it on your fucking Xbox One. Why would I want to trade the game in and then you take the damn game off the Xbox One after I just installed it? I just want to take the disc back because it's useless. The fuck is that shit, Microsoft? What the fuck is that shit? What is that shit, Magic? What is that shit? Okay, what type of fucking idea is that? Okay. You could have easily just took the damn register, the disc off of your 360. It don't take the, good, the whole fucking game off completely. It just won't be registered to that system anymore. You should still be able to play your fucking game. No! It's gonna remove it completely from your 3... from your, I keep saying 360. From your Xbox One. Why? Fucking why? With the inclusion of that shit, you know you got the Xbox Live f gaming... I mean, online fee. So let me get this straight. You're adding NFL to the mix. Is that gonna be free too? Or I mean free? Or you gotta pay for that shit too? It's so much fucking bullshit going on with this company right now, Microsoft. You're not fucking funny. Okay? And then and then not only can you not trade your game in, so basically you're stuck with the game for life until you're actually done completing it and all DLC is done with it, then you can take it back to the store and do whatever the fuck you want with it. Here's what really kicks my ass. You can't let your friend borrow the game, okay? You can have, you have a family of four. All of y'all have your own Xbox Ones in the house. One copy of one game for every, for the, all the systems. It'll only go and work for one fucking system. What type of shit is that? Microsoft. What the fuck type of shit is that? I, I, I just don't fucking know. Man. E3 is going to be the make it or break it for you, Microsoft. Because I tell you what. Me and JWU both, appreci both appreciate the fact that... You can watch TV on your Xbox One. You got all these other features that people bitched and complained about. But those same people that bitched and complained about it were the same people that wanted it in the first place. And now that they got it, they don't fucking like it. That's fucking retarded. Microsoft fanboys suck ass. They should not be included in any type of games or nothing like that. So, I'm just pointing that out there. Okay? But, I gotta say, your Xbox con Connect camera, if that shit is playing Big Brother, watch me have sex with my girlfriend, or yeah, my girlfriend, I was gonna say my roommate, she's not my roommate, or my girlfriend or something like that, what the fuck, okay? I should not be sticking Johnny and my girl rocking that shit back and forth and the cameras all of a sudden moving over here zoom in okay fuck you you son of a
bitch. Fuck that damn connect. The first goddamn connect didn't fucking work. Okay? It didn't work to save his fucking life. And you made a second one. And then with the second one, you have to keep it on 24 hours a day for your fucking system to fucking work. You always gotta have an internet connection for your shit to fucking work. What type of shit is that? You're not gonna say you're gonna charge almost like $500 for a system and then say, oh, you need an internet connection, otherwise your shit is useless. It's just a big ass paperweight. That's why I say you can have a laptop, but there's no internet connection, so you can't use your computer. Wrong! If there's no internet connection for your computer, you can watch a movie, you can play music, you can play games that you downloaded. You don't need the internet all the time for a laptop if you don't have an internet connection. You can do a lot of multitude of other shit. Xbox One? No! That shit won't work otherwise. What? Fuck you! And then, and icing on the cake, I found out a week and a half ago that there's a rumor that that fee that your friend will have to pay to play the game you let him borrow will be upwards of $50. Almost the same price as a brand new motherfucking game. Microsoft, you see my dick? Suck it, okay? $50 for a fucking fee to play the fucking game? Are you fucking mad? Are ya? You better show me something at E3. You better give me a reason to buy your fucking system. Because right now, PlayStation is the way I'm going. It has been since 1997. So, I don't see a reason why I would, well, I, don't, I don't jump ship anyway, I don't see a reason to give up PlayStation anytime soon. Even the PlayStation Move is compatible with the PlayStation 4. For the five or six people who still have PlayStation Move, yeah, you can play it on PlayStation 4. Sony is thinking, why the fuck can't you? Microsoft, I I've been supporting you since 2007 when I first bought your fucking 360. I went through nine of the motherfuckers. Nine. Systems. Because of your fucking red ring of death. I even went through one slim. For you. That's dedication. Show me something. J-Dubs out.